Okay, so in this video we're going to talk about um, Angular JS and single page applications. Again, this is not a tutorial on writing them or, or if you've already worked with this kind of stuff, um, you know, uh, there are great tutorials about this. This is really just what is this stuff? I mean, what, what, uh, first steps into what is Angular and what is a single page application? You know, there's somebody asked me the other day again, what, what is that? And so I'm no, this is just a basic explanation of that. So first of all, sort of a theory behind this. Um, we've always had this server concept um, and that uh, uh, um, as, as our web server and then we've had clients. Uh, clients. Um, and these are browsers. Now in the old days that used to be just uh, uh, simple browsers and um, all of these guys would um, actually you know, come come to the server, and behind the server, maybe maybe it was an Apache server. Behind the server was some HTML pages and images and all sorts of stuff. And maybe if you were doing Java, there were JSP pages. And behind those JSP pages, well, you know, the server would load these different pages for them. And behind here was maybe a a, a, a Java or a um, uh, 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 you know, uh, um, s some form of a backend, uh, maybe that talked to a mainframe, and behind that was, of course, a database. So all of these things sort of, um, th this is how it traditionally worked. So, um, uh, uh, you know, the clients, um, and that used to be just really browsers, would request information, they talk to a, a JSP, and a JSP would talk to you know a WebSphere or a, or a, um, a JBoss or or some backend, and that would talk to the database. And and here is where this thing called uh, um, your model view controller lived. And the model view controller, as we uh, you know, what it really is is uh, uh, you know you have your model, which is the object or whatever you want to uh, uh, show. The view is the display, and and in this case, JSP produces HTML ultimately and uh, a controller is this controls where it's going so that's sort of how it worked in the old days uh, um, uh, and, and still works for for many organizations this way because of course there's many applications out there so your application really lived here uh, um, you know in, in this area so uh, along came the more modern era where uh, um, clients are no longer just simple or, or older browsers, they they, they, they they do more things. So um, and they've become much stronger. And then around came JavaScript, and ultimately um, things like uh, Angular and um, and uh, uh, um, uh, single page application. So all that really is is saying, well. Maybe you uh, uh, download your um, HTML that contains your 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 page. You you download that from the server, you sort of a client, which can now be a cell phone or a tablet or a browser. But this backend now is is rather exposed through a REST RESTful service. So that's sort of a more modern way of, of doing this. So. Um, uh, um, and now, you know, the application doesn't really live here anymore. It goes and lives over here. So, um, um, from a, um, oops, uh, no. from a, um, a, 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 a model view controller or application uh, perspective, it really goes and lives here on the client. Meaning the client now will come and um, he will hit the HTML page. Or, or or any page really for that matter you will download the application and the application will execute on the client itself meaning and um, you know uh, and uh, maybe in the old world uh, um, somebody uh, uh, asked again and again for the next page the next page and the next JSP page now a single page application really the whole application lives on a single page it's not page refreshes per mu so much the, um, you know, but when it needs data, it will talk to the backend uh, via this RESTful service. So, if we need a list of the latest transactions, 
in the old days the, the JSP over here would build build the, the whole uh, um, uh, um, list of transactions and send the HTML to the client and the new world is the client downloads the application and executes it on the client and when it needs a list of the latest transactions it will call the RESTful service and the RESTful service will send it to pure data typically in JSON format and uh, then the, the single page application will show it so the main advantage here is that um, this application is now distributed and um, uh, so um, you know uh, where previously a lot of work ha happened over here now less work happens over here because all this really does is just exposes the data uh, in and out and most of the work happens over here and uh, um, so so that makes a, a, a totally different model from a previous model where the, the application lived on this side of a server so that's the theory behind it and and that's really where angular comes in so um, angular by itself was uh, is now uh, you know part of a google and and its community and it focuses on um, you know a uh, um, single page application so um, here's an example then of a single page application so if we go in here and um, we go look at a, a simple uh, angular page first of all what is angular in terms of of uh, uh, how do i install it really all you have to do is this one file angular dot and this is the minified version dot javascript and of course in your html file you would just include that so you're including angular dot min dot js and from that point onwards really you have access to angular you can now use angular and this simple little application i created here uh, which um, works this way let me show you um, how this application actually works so, so when I was it was angular demo and there it's got an input box enter your name here and it says hello and when I type V I V I A N, you will notice w one major thing this thing didn't go to the back end to go do anything with the data it's in runtime it is actually uh, doing uh, 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 the application is actually executing right here. It uh, didn't talk to a backend, it didn't to talk to anything and the reason for that is it actually downloaded the application like we said um, in, in, in this demo it actually downloaded the application from the backend and it's brought it uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, from this HTML and it's brought it here and it's now executing here on the client side so it's very important to understand that so if we look at the, the programming of that the actual application side of that um, let's get back to the application over here let me bring this a little bit closer yep if we look at the application over here we can see of course we included it angular.js and there and here's the major thing there's this thing called the ng model now this is not a tutorial on teaching you uh, angular but what it basically says is there's this variable called ng model um, it's type text and wherever we see these curly braces is where it's going to print that variable so uh, that's in its simplest form maybe uh, um, you know as you type then this value gets filled in and then it echoes it out over here and this all happens in runtime so the net result of the app little application is really um peter and there it is it does something but it doesn't talk to the back end at all it's a contained application on this page so that's very important that that you understand that part so um then um if we look at a further little demo and there's typically how you would write other uh, uh, angular applications you would um, go into something like this and you would write your own little JSP so I've got a little CSS file here that just says okay and I have a little JSP page and this is a, a little uh, JavaScript file and in here you can see this is my controller my model is in here so this is the model and the controller in here um, and here I have certain functions and it's called the to-do application this is one of the examples of uh, Angular website but um, here's the functions I'm going to call, meaning the controller, um, uh, 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 the part, and 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 uh, uh, the model is in here. What you know? How does this thing look? A to do as a 
text uh, 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 and it has a done attribute so there's my model uh, my controller of course all these functions that's going to happen to it and then my view part of it is inside my HTML so that completes the model view controller um, how I do that of course I include those two little files uh, of course I, I include angular then I include my little to do.js file that I created and my style sheet and from now on I can do something like this everything between this div and this div is the ng controller so um, and that is defined inside my little application there's my to do controller so it knows it's going to talk about this little application over here so um, so there it is to do controller and to have this uh, you know y you'll, you'll again see this ng repeat and ng submit and uh, um, you know the curly braces over here there's the text there's a whole lot of stuff here. Uh, uh, um, again, this is not a uh, Angular tutorial, but um, the net result of this really is that um, you get something to this effect. Again, I'm going to download the little application from the uh, index.html file, meaning I went to the HTML file. I've now downloaded the application and it's now executing inside my browser. Here it is. I'm not going to go to another page. I am inside this little application. Now, maybe this list of to-dos it has here already um, uh, you know it's hard-coded at the moment but maybe what it did the first thing when this little application st st started it might have called the restful service on the back end and get the latest to-do list and print it there so um, that's how it talks to the back end it might not uh, um, you know um, it's not loading the page from here it's loading the data from here it loaded the application from that HTML file and now it's included it's executing over here and now it goes maybe and fetches the data from a restful service give me the latest list of to do's and it's going to show that in here and now this application has it and there's the latest list and maybe I want to add one um, uh, um, learn to spell okay um, work hard now maybe when I do this uh, again this data is pushed to the back end uh, via restful service so maybe via a little application when I or when I finally save it it pushes it to the back end so that's its connection to the back end but um, you know it has a little list and I can say well no I've, I do work hard and I uh, have uh, while well, I'm still learning um, while I'm building an Ampler Angular app and I have a spell checker so those two are done but what's important is you'll see that this little application is executing over here but there's no communication to the back end so that's actually you know over here and when I hit that button it calls a different function and a JS and you know now it's clear the ones that, that I've already uh, uh, done uh, um, but uh, which is very different than um, the the previous applications where this page was rendered uh, by the back end now this page the model view and controller lives over here inside the client it executes but when it needs data or save data or get data it will reach out to the restful service that will talk to the database so that's the basic idea about angular um, it is uh, very simple as you can see uh, uh, from a, from the coding itself, you can write these little JavaScript applications. You can do a lot of stuff in the Angular language. Um, encourage you to read that and 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 do that. And um, you know, so that's the basic scoop on on what is a um, Angular and what is a single page application. Well, thank you.